D'Angelo a goal and assist more on his afternoon coming up. He scored his first game, uh, his first goal of the year, and so too did Vladimir Nemesikov for the Rangers. And you've seen something in his play that was trending towards this. What was it? Yeah, I just thought that, honestly, when I looked at all of his scoring chances yesterday, I saw him getting a lot of opportunities where he just didn't have any luck. And you go to Chicago on Thursday, he was the one that passed it to Kevin Hayes with six and a half minutes left in the third period. I mean, this is a terrific wait for the better part of the offense to come up the ice. He just doesn't get fortunate there with Hayes scoring for him. He's only got one assist coming into tonight's game. But you see some of the setups that he has had early in the season with Spooner. This game against Calgary, he had four scoring chances. He just didn't get a bounce. That one didn't <clears throat> get to his stick cleanly. And this one here off the crossbar. These are all, with a little bit of luck, he could have had some more than just the one point coming into tonight. Can you believe that bounce? So you see him tonight take it to the net. It was a good sign, Bill, because he does have the confidence as a scorer in the NHL. He's played with Stamkos, Kucherov. This guy can play with the best. And the goal that was scored here, it took nine and a half minutes to figure it out, which was painful. But I can tell you, the guy's a player, and it's, it's really tough for any player to only have a single point after nine games. He was scratched once coming into tonight, to this afternoon, and he was able to pull it out. Yeah, they reviewed the goal and then the Kings challenge for goalie interference. Oh, my God. Took a while, but when all was said and done, one nothing Rangers, Tony D'Angelo made it 2 nothing, and then the Kings with three straight goals, the first two on a power play. And the Kings came into this game, Steve, on the power play, three for 34. Right, and, and it's almost scary sometimes when you look at the stats and you see 8% power play with those names on it because you know as a player that's not going to continue and you're just waiting for a storm sometimes and that seemed to happen. Now, if you look at these power play goals, it's classic LA King hockey. Weak side winger off the weak side post just banging in empty netters. I mean, that's what these guys do and there's Brown's first in his first game back and he was a lift up for this group that had only won twice. And Kovalchuk is a hired gun. This is somebody the Rangers could have brought in if they wanted to, but they don't want to go in that direction and because they're going youth and the Kings are trying to hang on to what they have, but he uh, didn't disappoint. He was flying all afternoon and this is the final goal right here. You're looking at Lewis again, banging it off that weak side post. This is the way this team was built, Bill. They've got a lot of aging stars, but they're very mature with how they position themselves. And they're very heavy. They're a big team. And a lot of teams in the West for some time built their teams to be able to combat that. L.A. is still getting it done that way. It's just interesting to see how it's going to unfold for them as a club with the league getting so much faster now. All right. Lewis makes it 3-2 Kings. Just under five to go. Give the Rangers credit. They give up the three unanswered goals, but then they're able to tie it. Tony D'Angelo, the great pass to Ryan Spooner, who also scores his first goal of the season. Yes, and I'm, I'm glad that Dave agreed with me there because, you know, we're seeing the same thing. As, as a former defenseman, Dave knows that when you're coming out of your zone, it's very important to have a very crisp first pass, and that's what he was doing all night, D'Angelo. And, and to give this really nice sequence a good look here, they last a good 45 seconds before they score this goal. They're going at it. There's a lot of exchange. There's a lot of switches. You can see D'Angelo there. He exits, and then he comes back into the, into the screen right here. So they're really making sure that there is coverage. But the mobility that he had on the blue line sets up that passing sequence on the first shot. Campbell is a fish out of water here. And you can see the, uh, the fact that they're getting these retrievals too, Bill. That's a very good sign. It means that everybody knows how to get back on the puck and stay on it. This one now comes in the middle of the ice, and it's a terrific shot. Nice pass by D'Angelo. Great pass. I mean, that's a great pass. That's, that's a heads-up play to the slot. It's not easy to get to the slot on the L.A. Kings. So you got to give that guy a lot of credit. Um, Jack Campbell, uh, for the most part, I thought he was more like, like a duck almost sitting on the water where he seemed like he had control, but underneath those feet were going a mile a minute. And I thought it was just a matter of time before the Rangers would get to him, and they did. But it just wasn't enough in the end, unfortunately, for them. 